Coming off a little bit of a rough end to last week, this morning I was really hoping that I might be able to start running up again after taking two days off and unfortunately I did a little lap on the indoor track just to see how my leg was feeling before doing some stretches and it didn't feel great. It kind of felt like my knee was giving me a little bit of this, you know, like I said, kind of like pushing on a bruise on the inside. And it almost felt like if I were to continue running, it would probably go away after, you know, quarter, half mile into a run. But I didn't want to risk it. So I took the day off. I talked to Arrow. He said that we're going to take the next few days off. And that's exactly what we did. Tuesday, Wednesday, just easy days to relax. Uh, basically just trying to focus on recovering and staying healthy, not doing anything to uh, aggravate my knee in any way and just, you know, taking some time to enjoy like having a day off. It's not often you get time off. Like I said last week, I hadn't had a day off since before Christmas. So obviously, you know, it's been a long, long journey so far. And obviously I love running. I don't want to take days off if I don't have to, but you do obviously need to take some time to just enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, and that's exactly what the first half of this week was. I've also been doing some exercises, whether in the gym or just even at the house before work, whatever, to help try to strengthen my knee. Obviously, uh, strength training is pretty important for injury prevention, but even when you are injured, one of the things that I'm really appreciative for my old strength coach, Coach Dom, kind of just showed me that you know, strength training actually can also help rehabilitate and it's one of the best ways to get through an injury in my opinion is doing strength training because it really can help. Not only does it, you know, make your ligaments stronger, but it's also kind of pushing you through that injury. And as long as you're not doing anything to uh, interrupt or disrupt, I, sh I should say, the injury itself or whatever, you know, is hurting, it, it can be very beneficial for you to get through an injury so just trying to work on some movements and obviously keep the rest of my body healthy and ready to go when I am able to run again. Tomorrow we're going to try to get in a run and see how the legs feeling. Fingers crossed that things go well and I'm able to get in a full run but I'm also not feeling the greatest. Starting to get a little bit of a sore throat. Should be fine. Hopefully not going to be a big deal but We'll see how it goes. I'm just hoping that tomorrow we actually, uh, yeah, get a full run in. Alrighty, today is finally the morning. It's been five days since I last ran, which was what, last Friday? Uh, finally got the green light to test out the legs, see how the knee is feeling. Obviously biking yesterday and the day before is going to help keep me in a little bit of shape. Obviously I haven't really lost fitness either. Like taking five days off doesn't really do much, especially this part of the season. I'm still in better shape than I probably ever have been in. So I'm not too worried about it, obviously. Uh, more or less just hoping that leg feels good today. I'm expecting there to be a little bit of annoyance, maybe even a little pain the first half mile or so. But by like a mile or two miles into the run this morning, I do expect to feel good. Uh, if I don't, I'll probably have to cut the run short and, you know, go back from there. But uh, yeah, the goal is just to do 30 minutes today, see how we feel. If things are feeling good, obviously that's fantastic. And we'll talk to Arrow figure out what we're going to do from there but uh yeah just need to get through this 30 minutes first a simple 30 minute run doesn't seem like much to most i would imagine but for me this was extremely important to finally get over the hurdle that i've been you know kind of teetering on the past few days of whether or not this was going to be a real issue with my knee and finishing this run. I can probably say that it's not, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, obviously, there's still more to be seen, 
but I felt fantastic. A uh, little bit of on and off pain the first half mile or so, and not really a lot of pain. A very just like back of my mind type of thing. I could kind of feel it a little bit, nothing too crazy, but a mile into the run, completely gone, finished up 30 minutes without any issues. And this is just really uh, exciting for me because obviously I didn't really know what was going to happen. I was a little worried, but taking the five days off definitely is uh, probably for the best. I'm glad I did it, and now I'm feeling better than ever. You really, really never know for certainty whether or not something's going to be a problem, and taking a few days off is usually for the best. Unfortunately, I've been having a little bit of a sore throat the past few days, and as of this morning when I woke up, it hit me hard. And I am now kind of in a limbo of, okay, I'm definitely sick. Uh, you can probably just tell by my voice alone. Very stuffy, a little bit of a headache, sore throat, like I said. I tried to do uh, a run this morning. Arrow said I could go up to an hour. I got in 27 minutes, and it was not easy, to say the least. Um, I don't know. I, I love running, and I think that it's very beneficial for when you're sick. Like, obviously exercise is good but you can't push it because then you're going to put your body at an increased chance of what infection that actually could be completely made up but i believe that's how that works not 100 percent to be honest but yeah just try to take it easy today we'll see how i feel tomorrow morning when i woke up wake up and uh yeah i'm just really in and out of like focus right now i'm very cloudy so i'm just going to go to sleep and hopefully get a good night rest After a pretty rough Friday, I was really hoping Saturday I was going to wake up and feel better. And I'll be honest, I woke up and I felt pretty much the exact same. Honestly, the body hurt more this morning, like physically. I ran like two miles at a little over nine minute pace, which was just insane. I was going that slow and it felt so terrible. So talked to Arrow later on and he just said, yeah, just take the rest of the day off. Don't run tomorrow. We'll try to run again on Monday, depending on how you're feeling. So Sunday came around too, and I just felt like crap this morning. Uh, didn't run. I biked with Jimmy T for a little bit, and then I've just been sitting here relaxing, trying to get over everything. I've been taking medicine, and hopefully all will go well, and I'll be able to rebound next week. But it's just been a, a terrible week, to be honest. I mean, starting it off injured and then getting sick and still not even being recovered from that. Thankfully, my knee feels fine, and I'm starting to feel better uh, physically uh, from sickness, but hopefully tomorrow, Monday morning, I'll be able to get in a full run. Like, that is really just, fingers crossed, the goal. Uh, I think I'll be able to. Like, I do feel like I've gotten better. I just think I need a good night's sleep tonight, so that's the only plan right now is just to get a good night of sleep, and uh, yeah. Next week is race week. We are racing a 5K, so we'll see how that goes, but... We'll talk more about that next week because I need to go to sleep. I'm exhausted, so uh, apologies for a, probably a rough uh, passion project this week, to be honest, because I don't even know what I filmed. It was so hard to uh, film anything just because I was pretty much just in my room all day just trying to recover. So with that being said, really do hope you guys are still enjoying the series. Next week's going to be a lot better, hopefully, as long as I'm recovered. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, take care. Love all things. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.